What's up, everybody? Um, happy Friday. Finally, it's Friday and my birthday weekend. Well, my birthday is on Sunday, but of course, I'm celebrating all weekend long. Um, anyway, this episode of General Hospital, cuckoo and crazy, just ridiculous and some surprises. Tyler Christopher, I had no idea. I knew Nicholas was coming back to the show, but you know what? I had no fucking clue he was coming back today. They, I mean, I think the writers snuck that shit past me because I had no clue what his ear date was. I just knew he was coming back. I didn't know it was going to be on today's episode. I had no clue. Um, But anyway, I get more into that in a, in a minute. Bobby. It was so good to see Bobby Spencer again. I love her with her little redheaded ass. I love her. Um, I wonder if Bobby is going to mix it up with her daughter, Carly. I wonder. Well, I'm pretty sure she will. I mean, she's in town for a while, so she has to bump into her daughter at some point. Um, anyway, Luke and Scott need to stop this bullshit. All this arguing and all that. I really don't believe Scott had a damn thing to do with this kidnapping. I don't believe it. Why? It doesn't benefit him. Because if you kidnap Lulu, Laura is going to lean more on Luke than she would Scott. Because that's their child. Um, And I agree with what Bobby told Scott. You need to kind of back off a little bit because this is Laura and Luke's child. Not your child. So let them deal with this. You know, it's good that you're being near, you're supporting your fiance, but at the same time, you need to give them a little bit of space so they can think about this and talk this out instead of always butting in when this is not your child. This is their child. But Luke need to stop with the accusations because you're blaming Scott. But however, you and Laura said it a billion times that you have accumulated plenty of enemies over the years so anybody could have done it and at the top of my list would be helena cassadine because i'm pretty sure she has something to do with this because like i said if nicholas is back in town helena ain't far from behind trust me because you know she keeps tabs on nicholas and i'm pretty sure helena also has a grudge against the spencers of course she do she's always going to have a grudge against the spencers until the day the old bitch die which may be never you know, all the evil motherfuckers live to, the, you know, till kingdom come. But, um, yeah, Luke and Scott, y'all need to drop this little vendetta and just join forces and find Lulu. I know some people get annoyed by Lulu, but um, she's still a, you know, big piece of this show. My guess is they're going to keep Lulu off the screen for a while so they can make the switch between Julie Berman and M. Ryland. I'm pretty sure that's probably what they're going to do. This was a way to kind of write Julie out and bring him in, bring Emmy in. So I'm pretty sure this is how they're going to do. Um, so Dante, he's accusing Scott Baldwin of having something to do with his wife being kidnapped. Of course, Dante was going to accuse Scott. It's a no brainer. He was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. He's angry. He's upset. Hell, he would accuse the bus driver if he could. Because when your wife or anybody you care about and love goes missing, you would accuse any fucking body of anything. Even if they got the smallest motive, you would accuse them because that's that rage. That's what you do. You're upset. You're hurt. You just want to find the fucking person that you love. And I know, I mean, personally, I don't know how that feel, but I could just imagine what people go through when somebody missing, somebody's been kidnapped, disappeared, whatever. That's the emotions that go through you. You would blame anybody and do any fucking thing to get him back. And I don't blame Dante. And you could see the pain and hurt in his fucking eyes. Like he loved Lulu, even though they're a little boring together, but he loves her nonetheless. That's his little cupcake. So I mean, what can we do? Um, anyway, um, that voicemail that Dante left on Lulu phone, I, my heart dropped when he left that voicemail. I was like, wow. You could just hear it in his voice, how hurt, sad, you know, and desperate he is to get her back and how much he cares and loves her. And I don't blame him. You know, that's the man's wife. Um, 
Anyway, it was good to see fucking Nicholas again with his long hair. It was definitely good to see Nick again. Um, him and Laura on screen because it's been a few years since we've seen Nicholas and Laura together. So, you know, that was good. I'm glad he's back. Use some of that Cassidine money and influence to find his sister, hopefully. Um, Ellie and Spinelli, their conversation about babies and, you know, Ellie is, uh, Spinelli was talking about how he wants to produce children and stuff like that because he grew up with his grandmother and he never knew his real family. <clears throat> David Vickers Buchanan. Um, but anyway, I just have this something pit in my stomach telling me that they could have made David his father because it would explain a lot. But, um, anyway, Maxie, I think the real reason Maxie's keeping this secret is not only because she doesn't want to hurt Dante and Lulu, but because when you tell a lie this big, like the lie Maxie's telling right now about this baby, you just got to go in and you just got to go with it. When you tell a lie this big, you got to go with it. You can't turn back and, you know, tell the truth now. I mean, even though you could, but you're too much of a coward to do it. You just got to go with the lie. Some people swallow a couple big lies, but like I said, that's how Ron and Frank are. They fucking stretch storylines for months and months and months. We might not find out, Dante and Lulu might not find out the truth probably until December of this year or probably January of 2014. I'm telling you, these writers like to stretch shit out. Um... But I could see the fear in Ellie and Maxie's eyes when she heard about Lulu. You know what I'm saying? She because, you, you know, her and Lulu are friends. You know, they used to be bitter enemies a few years ago, but they turned into besties or whatever. So, you know, it hurt her. Um, it was so funny watching Spinelli talk about him and Maxie. What what would it be like if they had, you know, little spixies running around? I was like, oh, God. Well, Spinelli, you're actually about to get your wish because I mean, not your wish, but you're actually about to find out what it's about to be like because you and Maxie, unbeknownst to you, actually have a little spixie in the oven. You know, so kudos to him. I guess you produced what you wanted to produce. Um. Anyway. When Lucy Cole was talking to Dr. Olbrecht, I was like, what is this bitch doing back in town? I was wondering why this little hoe was back in town. Um, in her little evil ass, Lucy Cole, I think, got the vibe that something was a little off about Dr. Olbrecht. Because you could tell by the way Lucy was looking at her, something wasn't right with homegirl. And, you know, Lucy got a sixth sense about people. Um, and then they was talking about evil and stuff like that. And Obrecht talking about you don't have to be insane to be evil. Well, you know, the bitch got that right. Um, but anyway, I get back to that little minion in a minute. Um, Patrick and Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth was on her way to the graduation for the nurses and stuff like that. And she went to go pick up Emma and Patrick, but Patrick don't want to go. I respect Patrick's loyalty to Robin because even a year after her supposed death, alleged, he's still loyal to her. And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Um, He's still very loyal. He tried to move on, but he just didn't feel it with, with Britt. So, you know, he's trying to just really find a way to move on because he thinks Robin's really gone. I know a lot of people say they're over Robin, but I really don't blame Robin. It's the writers. I'm telling you, they drag shit out. Robin would have been back by now, probably had it been Guzza. Robert, not just Guzza, but maybe Lauren, um, Jill, Farron Phelps, you know, any other writer probably would have had her back by now. But they're waiting until the nurse's ball next month to bring her back. That's what they're waiting for. So just be a little patient. I want Patrick with Sabrina, too. But I told you, I only want that if Robin was really dead, but she's not. So she deserves to come back and get her husband and child back because that's her family still legally. That's still her family. You know, Patrick is still legally her husband and Emma is always going to be her daughter. So. Um, but anyway, Patrick, he didn't want to go and so Elizabeth took Emma instead. Emma is such a sweetheart. I love that little girl. Um, she's so cute. Um, but anyway, um, Elizabeth, uh, Epiphany scolded 
Brit Westbourne about her schemes and manipulations against Sabrina and Britt got mad and wobbled her little ass away. And then she bumped into Sabrina and Felix running off at her fucking mouth, talking about, oh, this ain't over. Bitch, wobble your little one-legged cripple ass on somewhere and go get, get hit by a bus. I am just so sick of this chick. I just wish I had some bitch be gone spray because I swear I would spray her and just say bitch be gone. Poof, bye bye. I am so sick of this biatch. Go home, do something. And come to fucking find out, her mother is Dr. Obrecht. Which ain't really that big of a surprise to me because I knew that bitch was up to something. Because don't you think it's a little odd that months or whatever after Robin supposedly dies, this bitch shows up in Port Charles and immediately attached herself to Patrick? Don't you think that's a little odd? Because I did at first and I knew the bitch had an end game. I didn't know what it was at first, but I had a feeling she was tied to either Faison or Dr. Obrecht. I had a fucking feeling about that shit. And now come to find out months later, Obrecht is her fucking mother, which doesn't surprise me because both the bitches are crazy. Wobbling her little ass all around poor Charles. Bitch, go have several seats. I am sick of this hoe. I am not here for her. Seriously. Can somebody please shoot these bitches? Especially that Dr. Obrecht bitch after what she did to um Robert. I'm still heated about that bullshit, little old heifer. Anyway, today's episode, you know, has some revelations. I just love seeing my Bobby Spencer today. I loved it. She looks good. Um, And Laura sporting around that big ass rock that Scott Baldwin gave her. You see her when she hugged um Nicholas, that big ass ring just glistening. And I was like, you better go ahead and shine that shit. Um, Luke, you need to chill out, focus on finding your daughter and deal with Scott later. Cause I'm pretty sure Scott is up to something with his little manipulative ass, little leprechaun. Um, but anyway, I will see all of y'all later. Hope you have a great fucking weekend and I will see all y'all Monday. I'm out.